realized that there was a, a big issue in our country with regards to snake conservation. There was not really anything being done to conserve them and I made this my mission in order to save snakes and to educate people about snake safety. So the most important thing about snakes is that they keep a healthy balance in our environment. Without snakes, an ecosystem would, would collapse. Snakes can go into burrows where rodents tend to stay. With rodents in our cities, it is estimated that they cause at least $23 million worth of damage every single year. Often eagles and jackals and stuff can't get to them. And with snakes keeping them under control, again, we completely limit that from happening. The other thing that makes snakes so important is that they're also a source of food to other animals. Snakes can really contribute positively to the economy as well. Venom, which is a hot commodity in the pharmaceutical industry at the moment, and a lot of people are actually using snake venoms in order to produce certain types of medicines. And the other reason we try to, t uh, to tell people not to kill snakes is because there's an added risk. Now remember, if you're close enough to kill a snake, you're close enough to get bitten. Pretty much any animal that's, that feels threatened is going to defend itself, and we definitely don't want people to end up with a bite. Identifying snakes is not usually that simple and there's not a rule of thumb that you can usually follow. With some species that works. For example, if we're looking at sand snakes or grass snakes which are considered to be harmless, you can identify them because they have stripes running down the body. And with puffeters, for example, or any adder species, you can identify them because they're short, stocky snakes and they have triangular shaped heads. But if it comes to a lot of the other species, it's often really difficult to say whether a snake is venomous or not. And it takes a really keen eye in order to identify snakes. The peak of snake season is usually from January to about March. This is when most of the activity takes place and it correlates strongly with rainfall and humidity. Always make sure that if you're walking in the bush that you have long baggy trousers on. This provides some protection against certain snake species. Make sure you have closed shoes on, preferably ones that cover your ankles. Don't step over rocks and logs, but rather onto them. You can't see whether there's something on the other side and you may potentially step on a dangerous snake. Always make sure that you have sunglasses for our spitting cobra species like the zebra snake. Walk with hard, firm footsteps. Uh, this can warn snakes in the path that something is approaching and often they'll move away. Now remember if you see a snake in the bush, never try to throw it with rocks or stones. You don't want to injure it, it's not necessary. And do not try to pick up snakes, especially if you don't know how to correctly identify them. When it comes to emergency numbers, especially in cases of snake conflict, where a snake is in someone's house or garden, or when it comes to snake bites. I think it's always important to have the correct contact details. I am a member of the Namibia Snake Bite Interest Group. My job is to make sure that whenever people are bitten, that they get in touch with the correct doctors and they get the correct treatment as well. So when it comes to human snake conflict, I also assist in that matter. I usually go out and remove problem snakes from people's properties across the city of Vintuk. And you can reach me on 081 2900 343.